Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Long Dark. This is Girl on RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in this frozen screen. I know, it's all fine. I just, like I said last episode, I forgot about the time, and we ran out of time last episode. But we're gonna continue, we're, we're arriving over here to the lake cabin. It's not really the lake cabin, but yeah. We made it. I have no idea where the bear is. But we're going to the right place anyway. Okay. Well, I say oh, I say I have no idea where the bear is. I know exactly where the bear is. He went over that way. But, yeah, I'm back. Okay. So, to drop a few of these, a few of these, and a few of these as well. Because I don't think I need them. Next up. Uh, that letter is going to be dropped to the floor. Because it's fresh leather, apparently. Where is it? Right there. Okay, put it over there. Good. Put this away as well. Okay. Okay. All of that goes in here. Perfect. Uh, and we're gonna need to make some mittens. Or mitts, or whatever. Oh, hi, bu bunnies. Uh, okay, so everything is good. We don't have water over here. Oh, that's the reason. I, I carry the water with me like an idiot. Uh, okay, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna drink a little bit, now that we're here. Um, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna open this workbench, because we haven't seen it yet. Uh, I need four cured rabbit pelts and two cured gut. Let's remove the least good condition over here. Even though if this was realistic, it would mean that it would make a crappy mitt. Uh, and I'm gonna spend, well, five hours on it. Uh, with, yeah, with that. It takes a, a long while, but yeah, this is... I, I really like this, and it, it, because it takes so long, it's like an, uh, an enterprise, and it, these are actually, these take very little, these take more in general. They used to take more, I remember the year skip ends taking 24 hours. Or is it the other thing that we're also gonna eventually craft? Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, yeah, I have that, good. Um, okay. So we now we have good, oh, lovely, new rabbit skin. Two to two. Oh. They're a li little bit lighter, I guess. But I already have pretty decent ones. These are... No, they're, they're a little bit worse, actually. <laughs> I made them and I didn't need to. <laughs> ah, well. Now we know, don't we? Now we know. It doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. It's all in the name of hunting down that bear. That's all I need, really. Okay, so let's uh, drink a little bit more water. We're going to the um, the lake in a little bit as well, because he needed time or something. Or maybe ran away or whatever. Uh, let's put in the mittens. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh. How was that so ragged? Oh. Huh. Interesting. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Okay. Um, let's stick these. Let's wheel sweater. Let's take those. And let's decompose them. Uh, harvest, right there. And make these. Oh, boy. Night is falling. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's repair this. 25 minutes. It's gonna repair it completely, which is actually really good. I wasn't expecting that. For, did you notice 40% of that sewing kit made into that? Okay, there we go. So that's in good condition. All of these are in good condition. This one over here is gonna require some all something else. I'm gonna be able to harvest this. Let's go with that. Yeah. So we're gonna spend the night over here. That's fine. Uh, we also... Could go to a couple of other stashes, but that's fine. So I need to repair. Oh, I didn't get enough. Okay. Let's harvest that. Just one cloth. That's probably the reason. There's more cloth elsewhere. And there's also the sofas and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, I need more. Okay. So harvest that as well. The wind seems to be picking up. I hope I can go there still. Let's go there today. 
and sleep over there. It's fine. We have we have enough supplies. I should probably have not done what I just did. Yeah, let's go there and we sleep there because we have beds. Should be fine. Okay. So now we're in bear hunt mode. Got a wolf over there as well. That's not good. You don't want to mess with that today. Yeah, I think going over here today is important. That that wolf is definitely going to pick me up. They spot me like crazy. Unless he turns away. If he turns away, he might actually not see me. He's looking down there. But the problem is he's going to see me anyway. Just need him to turn like a little bit left. Maybe. Hmm. Also with the bears. Regarding the bears and their uh, aggro range, I think... Oh my god, look at the time. Uh, I think... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's fine. This is already the next episode. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, it's okay. with the. Uh, it's better, I should say. I think it's better with the um, aggro range of the bears. They're not as terrible. There's two... Oh, there's three wolves, holy crap. They're not as terrible as the wolves. Okay, let's run. Because we can. I can keep some distance between me and the wolves with this. But not too much. I don't know if they're after me. Oh, I'm tired. Well, they clearly don't know what a rifle is. And there's no bear around here. We're gonna need to go back there anyway, for the bear. And not for, just for the bear. Okay, that's the cabin over there, as you guys might remember. Oh boy. There's noises all over the place all the time. <laughs> they scare the crap out of me. Okay, yeah, we might even be able to make it back, if we wanted to. Didn't spend, didn't do much today anyway, so... Yeah. Hey man. Oh! Let's see if they left anything useful. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, he left stuff for sure. Some books. Painting. What? How was he here before? Deer skier and pants. How was he here before? That's what he left. Huh. Well, that kind of settles it. We don't. We didn't need to be over here. Oh, a letter. Thank you for helping me. Not everyone would have done that. I left this item for you. It belonged to my friend. Hopefully, you will be able to make use of it. Maybe our path will. Cr all our paths will cross again. Maybe. Hmm. Not a big surprise there. Okay, we'll have. Enough equipment to repair our things. We already have that for this. Uh, this is going to repair for 38.5. Let's repair with this one over here. And yes, we're going to have to spend a little bit of a hungry night, but that's fine. How is it looking? 94. That's pretty good. Uh, we got... Oh yeah, we now have the deer skin, deer skin pants. So we're talking about... This one over here is probably a 2 and a... Five or 0.5 over here. So this one is better than this. So take off and take off. I'm gonna use the deer skin pants on the outside. Because these are just better. But the worn these ones need to need to be Oh! That's my bad. Yeah, and then There we go. On the outside. There we go. Perfectly good. I wonder if I could switch these around. Oh, yeah. That's much better looking. Way better looking. Okay. Um, yeah, I have, I have a few things that I need to, uh, to repair. New cargo pants, as nice as they are, you're gonna be harvest. harvested. The night is falling. The night is falling. And can I repair these? Yes, I can. Fantastic. With this. We don't need to sleep too much, anyway. Okay. 
Is it in good condition? 90. 90 is good. Could repair these, but it doesn't really... It's not really that relevant. And it's also very, very dark. Can I destroy that pillow? No, I can't. Okay, well, let's drink what little water we have left. We still, we should still at least have enough for the night. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna probably need... That's gonna be bad, actually. We're gonna lose condition here because we're gonna be starving. We are... Yeah, this was not a very good idea. We could drink that coffee. It's not the best thing ever. Let's go outside. Never thought I'd... You're not dying from starvation, dude. You're dying from everything right now. The temperature is gonna kill you. The water is gonna kill you. The wolves are gonna kill you. Oh, and the bear. I forgot about the bear. Yeah, everything is gonna kill you. Well, it... That's not the normal size of the moon, by the way. Unless you have a really long lens, then that would be still not the normal size of the moon. I don't think... I don't think it's possible to take that sort of photograph. You need to just amplify. Usually the photographs that just have enormous moons is just amplified. Uh, not, not like, not, not Photoshop. Just they amplify the photo, and it looks like, like you're way closer to the uh, horizon than you actually are. Okay, you know it's it's not terrible. It's not terrible. The water concern, the, the water is a real concern. But yeah, there's wolves still around. Do you see them? It's very tricky to see them. I'm not I'm, I'm not going faster, even though I could, most likely. The moon is falling behind the uh the horizon here. I could drink almost anything about now. You really are you this guy is the most depraved crazy man ever. He can eat anything, he can drink anything, he could what else? Just snuggle against anything because we always am very cold and and, oh, oh, oh I, I, I can sleep with almost anything, because it's just, I mean, that's that's the direct equivalent, isn't it? Probably shouldn't be wearing this. This one is probably better. Don't tell me to reload if it's reloaded, come on. Can you guys see things? If you can't, it's very pretty. Well, uh, what I mean is, if you can't, what you're seeing right now is very pretty. Because that's just the, the moon, and it's awesome. But if you can see stuff, because I can, honestly, guys, get a gaming screen. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not asking you to get a, get a gaming screen for the uh, for for watching my videos. I, m I mean, get a gaming screen for your own gaming experience, because it's awesome. It's great. Just being able to see in the dark effectively, without actually compromising the quality of the of the image, it's just lovely. Just fantastic. And it's just not for gaming, for everything, really. But, uh, yeah. I suppose the new HDR monitors... Okay, yeah, we're losing condition now with water. Uh, the new HDR monitors would... Or will be. Uh, the new HDR monitors... Can probably bridge that gap? That issue that you have? With, um... When you make a... Basically, the HDR just allows you to have... A bigger... Uh, difference between what is... Lit and what is dark... Looks like a new day is dawning. Indeed, man. Indeed. Unless there's a bear around the corner. He definitely sounds like it. it for a moment there, he definitely sounded like it. I, I, oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. We're gonna need lights in here. And we have them. We also have food, or drink, anyway. Which is really important right now. Let's go over here to the cooler, and let's get a soda. Stacy, you beautiful, beautiful orange can. Not, not orange, purple. Purple can. Ah, okay, so now I need to light a fire. Uh, how am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna need... 
some of this, I suppose. I'm gonna need some some sticks if I can get them. Do I have any? Is there anything? Hmm. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Let's extinguish this. And besides, it's almost it's already daylight, so it's good stuff. Let's get the accelerant over there. We have plenty of it, so just go with it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but that should help warm things up. Oh, we have plenty of sticks. Okay, so let's get uh, half a liter. I don't know how much time we have. I think we have time for another half a liter of this. We're definitely gonna need to get some wood for this. I guess that's the first order of business today. Getting wood for this. Mm-hmm. Also, where is the mission? Hmm. What did the what did General Maya tell me to do? I'm 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 forgetting the mission here. Okay, let's drink a little bit there. Perfect. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Now I'm gonna drop nothing. Not there anyway. We need Yeah, to drop nothing. We're we're good on this front. I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, kind of. Uh next I'm going out right now. Uh, also I wanna check on the clothing. Oh, this needs to be repaired. Cured leather and cloth. But I have cured leather. Just not cloth. Is it over here that I have it? Do I not have cured leather? Oh, it's... Yeah, I need cloth. Okay, that's fine. I have it. It's over here or somewhere in the floor. Uh, okay, yeah, missions. Missions. Jeremiah's Folly. I need... Oh, six bear encounters. Lovely. Uh, then I need to find, locate the hidden bunker. Jeremiah has told you about the location of a hidden bunker in the forlorn muskeg. There are some letters there he wants you to burn. So we need to go there. Oh. And well, all the while bleeding from my hand. Uh, well, we have a mission ahead of us, don't we? I also don't have my rifle with me. Or on hand. Uh, let's take... If I can find... Oh, it's not here. It's over here. Cured leather right there. Let's take that. Uh, and also... What do I need? What do I need? Oh, yeah. I need to drop these. But I'm not going to drop them over here. I'm going to drop them over here. Because I think I keep some of these with over here. Okay. So... Like so, and I'm gonna bring these two, and that. It's not very heavy, so I might as well. Uh, the hacksaw, I don't really need that. Okay. Let's bring a few, a little bit of food. Yeah, that should be enough. Now, let's just hope that the bear doesn't show up, because if he does, well, I'm gonna have to shoot him in the head, and it's gonna be amazing. And bloody. Six encounters with a bear. I suppose it's six headshots. <laughs> oh man, I'm pretty sure. I, I think we might have been able to track him down and just shoot him again. Uh, did I bring enough water? No. Hm. It's gonna be interesting, isn't it? Well, the bunker should have water. And also, if I press 2, it selects automatically it selects the other weapon that I have, which is the flare gun. So time for an expedition. Oh man. I haven't even looked at the map. It's in the muskeg, so it's it's close. It's not a big deal. It's the bunker. It's I hope it's the nice one. Because there's, of course, as I keep saying, there's so there's five locations and two of those are the same. So there's four bunkers, but there might be there, there might only be only three bunkers. And basically, there's four locations that share two bunker styles in between each other. I hear some rumblings every once in a while. I guess now is what I, where I should have some Beats headphones. It's the only time. Because they, they really highlight the bassy, because they, they're really bassy. Or either that, or I could, I could have some... There's headphones that basically act actively rumble uh, when you get, like, really low. Uh, frequencies. 
Uh, but in my... Something to eat. You don't. Uh, in my experience, the best headphones that you can have for gaming are actually gaming headphones. They're not good for music, though. Well, they... They can't... They, they, they're passable. The problem is they, um... The problem is they get, uh... The clicks very loud. So they're very good for noticing, like, footsteps in games and all that sort of stuff. And for, the, for a long while, actually, I had some. Uh, the only 5.1 headphones that I could find on a on the cheap, basically. They were relatively cheap, 80 bucks. 80 euros, anyway. Uh, that looks like a wolf there coming at me. The problem is they are... Because they were cheap, they broke. And I had some super glue on them for a while, but then they broke for good. And I had to get some other headphones. I need to get myself some some page where you guys can check out my, my, my equipment. Because I, I take I take care I take care of the equipment um, that I pick that I use. Although it's not all very expensive, I I, I, I don't have like Republic of Gaming uh, motherboard and excuse the hiccup and, and stuff like that or top of the line graphics cards. Yeah, I'm not that I'm not that rich, unfortunately. Although I would like to have that. To be honest, if you want to, I mean the Republic of Gaming. Motherboards, they're not re really that much expensive in comparison to the other ones. They're just, and they're way cooler looking. So if you're going to buy top of the line, you might as well just get something that looks really cool. But a little bit pricey, a little bit more pricey. Uh, oh, now is the time. Now is the time where we need to look at our map. Uh, so we have a few things that we need to look at. That's the bunker? And that's the Old Spence's homestead. So we're over here. So we need to go to the right. Yeah, because we we start from over there. I don't know why, or how, or... I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I... Mm. Yeah, this is the way. We might see the... Uh, oh? No. We might see the tower from afar. Hmm. And yeah, so going back to those... uh gaming headphones before they broke. Uh, I got used to the sound and they're really really good and the 3.5 surround system uh, which is actually f f powered by six speakers inside the headphone. I know it sounds crazy but they work very very well. I had some before as well those were actually very very crappy but they worked as well. They were they were good. They were good. They were actually better for uh, for music. They were just normal headphones really uh, but these Rocket heads headsets that I got 5.1 the ones that broke um, the sound of the footsteps and all that, that would be just crystal, crystal clear. Playing playing online, not only the positioning, playing like Counter-Strike, uh, not only the positioning, but the the the, uh, the clarity, and just, you could hear them from so far away, it's, it, it's like cheating almost. Well, I suppose in a little bit of a way it is, isn't it? Nah, well, I guess it's, it's not fair competition, because you're going up against people that are not as well equipped as you are, playing the same game, but... Yeah, well, it's just a better experience in my for me. Not for them though, because they die. <laughs> I'm not very good though at, uh, at global offensive. I have a few episodes of them up. If you've seen them, probably haven't. Don't worry. But I beat I beat my opponent. YouTube doesn't like those though. YouTube really hates Counter Strike. Demonetizes everything. You shall not have adverts in your videos. Or the ones that you shall will be very crappy. Well, this that's me saying that adverts are good. There are some that are good, actually. I, I really like... There's one advert that shows up in, every once in a while, and I'm sorry. I, if you're watching this uh, in the future or in a country that does, just doesn't get those adverts, I'm sorry. It's kind of off-topic. Off it's really off-topic, actually. Um, but um, there's, there's this advert that I really like that's for uh, an autocorrect application or something. And it's really cool. It's really well done. It's really peaceful. I, I always watch it until the end when I get... That's one of the ads that... I, I There's a few ads that I watch until the end. And if I can help it. Because I'm helping somebody. Even though if... I, well, I, advertising is, is interesting because it always will work. It always... Even if you think it doesn't... No, it does. It's... it's it just does. If you watch it, if you've seen it, it, it... Yeah, it's working. It's doing the thing. And that's very... Pernici pernicious? Is that the word? Anyway, that's very kind of scary, at least. Uh, I don't think this is the way. I don't think there's a passage back there. I mean, this is the way, just not this particular little bit over here.
I don't see the tower. Oh, the exploration. The exploration. Yeah, but, uh... I don't think I'll ever install that application. But... I really like the ad. And there's a few others. A few movies. A few songs. It's weird. Every, every once in a while, there's advertisements that are just songs. <laughs> it's a song. Listen to this song. Four minutes worth of song. I'm sure we pay a lot for this. And I do. Especially if I'm watching YouTube on the background. I get the feeling that that's the most YouTube gets from advertising. Is, is, is the, the stuff that people just... Eh, can't be bothered to skip that. If it's not very obnoxious. Like... Whatever, that, that old muscular dude that just goes and shouts at the camera for five minutes. I don't even know what that is. What is he, what is he saying? I don't speak English. What is this? No comprendo, no comprendo. I'm saying, even though I don't speak Spanish either. <laughs> and Portuguese. But I, 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 it's tricky. I can't switch. I can't switch from... I um, should probably take those things. From English to Portuguese very easily. It's, it's really weird. Okay. You're cold. It's cold. It's just fine. It's minus seven degrees. That's not even cold. If you were working, if you were working, you'd be, you'd know what warmth, wait, you wouldn't need even a shirt. Actually, at the, at the base we're carrying, he would, this needs to be really, really cold. Because he would be just sweating in his pants. In his new deer pants, deer skin pants, I should say. Still have no sight of the radio tower. It might be behind behind this. And every once in a while when I talk, either my mouth does some sound that I'm not ready for, or just something happens that I'm, I wasn't expecting, and it's like I hear things. Nope. There's no things. That's why I looked left there. Scaredly. I hear wolves in the distance. That's fine. The wolves are nice. This is all for a bunker. All for a bunker. I really don't want to shoot a wolf though. Because that's a waste for starters. Oh, it's up there. It's really well hidden. I, I'm pretty sure they do it on purpose. And they shouldn't actually. They shouldn't do that. They should make accessing that harder. And it's already pretty hard, because I can't go up this cliff. Maybe. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break something here. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need to go through there. That's what they should do. Just make it hard. Just make it... Yeah. But not hide that, because I couldn't see that. Maybe I, maybe I, sh I could have, but I just didn't. And you guys probably saw that or something, but... Yeah, I didn't see that. It's tricky to, to uh it's tricky to notice things in in the distance. I've always, maybe it's me, actually. Now that I think about it, maybe it's me. Since I was a kid, I've always had trouble I mean are, my strongest memories of those is just people complaining to me that I couldn't see like planes in the sky or something. Because the little kids, you know, oh look at there, it's a plane or it's an helicopter. And I looked at the sky, I couldn't see anything. Uh I remember looking at the sky and seeing nothing. But then I should have been wearing glasses, and I was only diagnosed at the age of six when I went to school. Because our schools have free, uh, sort of, opt ophthalmologist thing that, that check your eyes for deficiencies. And yeah, I started wearing glasses. But then again, the thing, the thing is, it always stood me, with me. My capability of noticing detail in a big landscape is tricky. So I, I guess it depends on the person. Okay, so off goes that guy, and now let's look at the map. Okay, so that's... Let's go up there, so I can get a bearing on the direction. And anyway, that's going to be that for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Long Dark. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.